In question 12, uh, four rods are made from different metals, P, Q, R, and S. The rods have equal length and diameter. The rods are heated at one end in the same way. The table shows the time taken for the temperature at the other end to rise. Which metal is the best conductor of thermal energy? The metal which show a rise in temperature in a short time is the best conductor. That's why it's temperature changing in a short time. So when we compare the time interval, P took 35 seconds to change the temperature, Q took 30 seconds, R took 45, and S took 40. So which one is taking a shortest time to transfer the heat energy? Q is taking the shortest time to transfer the heat energy. So Q, all of them are conductor, but best conductor is metal Q. In question 11, air in the room is heated by a heater. The diagram shows a circulation of air in the room. So what happened? There are air particles. So when these air particles, they will take energy or gain energy. They will move away from each other. So as the particles move away from each other, volume of that part will increase. So if volume increase, the density will decrease. As the density decrease, that part of air will rise. And the cold and particles of air which are closer to each other or having high density will move downward. So which statement about the air that it heated is correct? The air is contracted. No, it's not contracted. So A and B cannot be an answer. The air expand and it become less dense. So as it become less dense, less dense will rise up. Expand means the volume increase, like the particles move away from each other. We call that as expansion. So volume increase, it means the density decrease. As the density decrease, that's why it will rise. Any other question? And this exercise, one of thermometer and heat energy transfer. Question 14. The metal surface of a kettle is hot. What happened to the cold air outside the kettle when it will come in contact with a hot kettle? So example, you have a hot kettle. Or the surface is hot. So air will come in contact. So when the air will come in contact, that air particle will gain energy from the hot kettle. When these air particles will gain energy from the hot kettle, hot air always, so what happened? The particle move away from each other or that expansion of air will occur. So when expansion occur, volume will increase. If a volume increase, the density will decrease and it will rise. So hot air always rise up. So what happened? The density of air decreases and the air fall. No, the density of air decrease and the air will rise. So expansion or increase in volume reduce the density of air, which cause movement of air molecules upward due to difference in the density. Any other doubt? So this was exercise uh, one. Any doubt in exercise two? Thermometer and method of heat transfer, exercise two. Six part C.
in this question one, one side of a copper sheet is polished and the other side is painted matte so like example you have uh, one piece of copper one side is matte dark another side is polished and a student place her hand at equal distance now in part c they are asking it is suggested that one side of a copper sheet cool to a lower temperature than the other explain why this does not happen so why this does not like what is the consideration like one side will show a smaller change in temperature because the, if we have dull and dark surfaces are good absorber and good emitter of heat radiation so they they should show a greater change in temperature rise in temperature will be higher as well as fall in temperature decrease in temperature should also be higher so because it's a highly polished and a painted matte black surface and student places her hand so the theory is like it is suggested like if the temperature of the matte black is 8 degrees the temperature of the shiny surface should be 10 degrees or uh, when it cool down means they should have a difference in temperature why it does not happen in this case of a copper because this is one piece copper is a conductor so when there is even though there is a difference in the temperature the heat will transfer within the copper the heat can transfer from one side to another that's why we don't find that there is a difference in the temperature between the matte black and the shiny sur sheet or shiny surface if it was two different objects then they will have a difference in the temperature as well but because it's a one object so when one object is there that's why it does not show difference in the temperature like if the same experiment was done for two different objects one is completely matte black another one is shiny and originally example in the beginning say this was at 20 degrees this one is also at 20 and you place a heater between them so heater supply heat energy to both matte black and shiny surface but shiny surface are good reflector matte blacks are good absorber so this will show a greater change in temperature this will be 25 and this will be smaller change in temperature say 22 but now what happened in this experiment actually two surfaces are made up of same material and in contact with each other so what we have and if we leave it or allow it to cool down so the matte black will show again a greater change in temperature because its temperature changed from 25 to 20 whereas shiny surface change temperature changed from 22 to 20 degrees but now because it's of one material and copper is a conductor so even if there is a difference in temperature like if i have one side of a copper is matte black and the other side of the copper is shiny and i place the heater in front of both sides so what according to theory dull and dark surfaces are good absorber and good emitter so if originally this was 20 the whole was 20 degrees because it's of one material but because dull and dark surfaces are good absorber so it should it should show a greater change in temperature as compared to shiny but here in this case this will not happen why it will not happen because when the copper is the dull black surface of a copper when it is absorbing energy copper is a conductor so it transfer that energy to the within the copper the energy transfer from high temperature or higher region to lower region that's why the overall temperature of the copper plate will be same it will not have different temperatures is it clear discussion because the question was 
why the temperature it is suggested that one copper sheet cool to a lower temperature than the other explain why this does not happen so why it does not happen because copper is a conductor so it allow the heat energy to pass through it so even if one side is absorbing more energy than the other but because it is transferring the heat energy uniformly evenly that's why the overall temperature of the copper will be same any other doubt related to this exercise question 4 four identical metal plates at the same temperature are laid side by side on the ground the rays of a sun falls so which plate will show a fastest rising temperature when the sunlight fall dull and dark surfaces are good absorber and good emitter so a plate which is having a matte black surface dull surface and dark surface will show a greater change in temperature then 4b it's a less fluid differential air thermometer you have a heater one side you have a glass bulb which is painted matte black another side you have a shiny glass both are having air inside because dull and dark surfaces are good absorber so this dull dark surface absorb majority of the heat but the shiny surfaces are good reflector so when it will absorb heat energy the air because it's it's filled with air so air temperature will increase and air will expand as the air will expand it will apply more pressure or increase the pressure so the air pressure more downward pressure from the air on the left hand side are as compared to right hand side so downward pressure is more from the left hand side so what we will observe the levels we will observe that the level of the liquid on the left hand side decreases where on the right hand side it increases because of difference in the pressure of air present in the tubes here air because it's a dull dark surface which absorb more energy so particles gain a more energy and they will collide more often as they collide more often they will push the or apply more pressure to on the surface of a liquid so pu push it down more as compared to on the right hand side so the heater level is switched on mark where the two levels would be after a short time so this level will be down on the left hand side and on the right hand side it will be up because they are not applying the same pressure then explain your answer you will mention dull and dark surfaces are good absorber so the air expand or apply more pressure from the left hand side that's why it create a difference in the level of the liquid is it clear question 4 any other doubt in this exercise exercise 2 of thermometer and methods of heat transfer 